Welcome back to Hannity. In the aftermath of the George Zimmerman verdict, protests, both violent and peaceful, broke out all across the country. In Oakland, California, demonstrators unhappy with the jurors' decision clashed with police, breaking windows, burning flags, vandalizing local businesses and police cars. And while some were calling for calm, many celebrity athletes actually seem to be advocating violence, including New York Giants wide receiver Victor Cruz. Now, the big blue player tweeted, quote, thoroughly confused, Zimmerman doesn't last a year before, quote, the hood catches up to him. He wasn't alone. Roddy White, Atlanta Falcons wide receiver, also seemed to be fueling the fire. He wrote on Twitter, all them jurors should go home tonight and kill themselves for letting a grown man get away with killing a kid. Both athletes later came out and apologized for their tweets, but a little too little, too late. Here with reaction to this and more, New York Civil Rights Coalition Michael Myers and Sirius XM radio host David Webb. Um, then you got Joe Madison and the NAACP convention, which is about 30 minutes away, he said, uh, in, in this particular, nothing more than a modern-day lynching. Reaction. These guys started, when I say these guys, Hollywood, the entertainers, from the initial event 17 months ago. They live in that bubble, Sean. They live in that absolute bubble where they can say anything. The problem is an apology doesn't mitigate what they've said because it, in, it incites others to either react and I look I get all this kind of hate the same thing for going on and saying due process let's deal with the issues what they are is idiotic and unfortunately people pay attention to them and I'm not going to give them a pass because they have a responsibility as a public figure if you're held to a standard as a public figure if I am or any other public figure for what you say why are they allowed to get away with it well yeah. look they're they're race mongers and race mongers know how to do that engage in racial rhetoric uh, no justice, no peace. It opens the door to violence. It opens the door to the peddling of racial poison. They label it white guilt, and they label it uh, black anger. But it is the same old racial poison I've heard so many years. And then you also have the media, the media who, who, who put these people on. You know, Al Sharpton, no justice, no peace, every cop he has ever indicted has walked. Every cop wannabe he has ever indicted has walked. But Al Sharpton is on MSNBC, and all these hotheads are in the media stoking racial Wait a minute. He poison. has plans for a, a protest in 100 cities this Saturday. So, I'll don't just, go. But, but here, here's what these guys are doing, and it goes back, you know, the 30,000-foot view. This is what the hardcore left, the NAACP convention, the annual meeting this weekend. What are they doing? They're creating a narrative knowing that they won't get through with a federal civil rights case. The burden is so high on that because it couldn't even be charged at the state level. FBI said there was not there. But they know that, David. But they, but they, they know, know that, that works. And, and, no, but and knowing but, that works, they're going to keep pushing but, but, it for but, the people. What troubles me it. about this is you have the civil rights community, the civil rights activists, some of them responsible, I thought, in the Legal Defense Fund, not the NAACP. Um, they are comparing Trayvon Martin, you know, to Emmett Till, who was a young black boy who was massacred because he whistled at a white woman. They are, in the civil rights uh, context, are claiming that a person does not have the right to a fair trial. They do not have a right to due process of law. That used to be civil rights. Does George Zimmerman, who had a black girlfriend, took a black woman to his prom, that mentored black children in his home, that invited people that were minorities into his home. George Zimmerman is... Does that fit the profile of a black... Look, a, George Zimmerman... Oh, I, 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 would, I would go beyond that, and I'll inject two things into this. They say Zimmerman is white because he's half white in parenting, but they accept Barack Obama, Obama as black <laughs> when he has a white <laughs> parent. No, he's but, white black. Right. But, 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 but here's where it goes. This narrative they're pushing out now is that Zimmerman and everyone in America needs to have diversity by suddenly knowing other people. That makes you less potentially biased. It's false, and we shouldn't fall into it. I'm looking at America right now, Sean, and I'm saying reject them let, outright. Make, Here's my question. Clear, that's where their power Here's is. Here's my question. When you see this video that we're airing, mm -hmm. and the burning, and, and oh. no justice, no peace, and the rioting, and look at what's going on where's in the some cities. Where's the condemnation for where, the responsible where, where is this coming from? I told you where it's coming from. It's the racial poison in the air, the, the racial rhetoric. They, it's like Reverend Ike used to say. He used to, he used to pr sell prayer cloths and, and healing oils. And he said, you can't lose with the stuff I use. These guys can't lose the stuff they use because when long as they have that racial rhetoric, they'll get back to meet the press. They'll get the fame, they get the glory, they get the, the New York Times quotes. 
and then you have a situation where you have a George Zimmerman who is who is no KKK. George Zimmerman is no Bull Connor. But according to those voices, yeah, they are. But and again, it's the New York Times that keeps the focus, the New York paternalistic right, Times. Quick, we gotta keep the focus again, on where them. Where it gets really bad here is when you have parents who teach that to children, who teach that to children. If you grow up thinking that's your existence, then they've robbed you of seeing that you have other choices, other the, views in the, the world. The black community and doesn't that's believe why that. Works, that's, and that is pathetic that was, and sad. Those are a few question. knuckleheads. Do we know the names of any of the hundreds of children killed in Chicago? Do we know? you know the name of one? Except for Daryl Green, who was one of the most recent black children. No. You wouldn't hear it in the media. Wouldn't hear you a word. Not I got a, peep. I got a better, I got a better question for you. Right. When Jesse Jackson admitted that he was afraid when black males approached him in a dog alley, was he personally profiling? Was Jesse Jackson being racist? Great question. All right. Guys, good to see you. People are hypocrites. Appreciate it.